All right, guys, New Age Tactical back with another video. Knife. New Age. <laughs> Filming during in, in in the morning right now. Mm -hmm. um, the little one is with us, so if you hear a little voice, she's sitting over in the corner here. <laughs> Say hi, Logan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so what are we doing? We said we were not done with the company. I we were <laughs> the Sativian One Twenty Eight. I have no idea what this looks like. Did I buy this? Or did you buy this? Yeah, you bought this a long time ago. It was expensive, wasn't it? I don't know. You didn't look up the price. Oh man. Man, I ordered a lot of from Amazon since then. Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty five bucks. All right. These ghosts. Right. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to stay seated. You sit right here, okay? That's a tape box. <laughs> So you do got your microfiber cloth. I think we should take them all and sew them together and make like a blanket. <laughs> a quilt of night. Ooh, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah, 128D2. Pretty solid feel. I got the different, I got. It, I remember buying this now. I got the green because it was just a little different. That's a real unique like yeah. reptile look. Yeah. It's a beefy knife. Yes, I'd be very careful, I promise. Liner lock. It's smooth action right out of the box. No flipper. What's kind of cool is, though, you see the the um, the jimping goes, it kind of climbs. So, like, you can, like... Oh, I see what you're talking... The blade starts to come out and of up. the knife yeah. ahead of time. It's got a nice feel. I, I like this. I the, the clip's pretty sharp, though. It's greasy. Oh my god, full hand and then some. Yeah. I like that though, the blade coming out. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's like perfect action. Yeah, I see what you're saying about the pocket clip though. It is very like it's just straight off the factory. Like, yeah, no, it's sharp. <laughs> it hasn't been like, smoothed it to, out yeah, at it all. It needs to be like, I don't know, cleaned up a little bit. We're professionals, please do not try any of this at home, okay, Logan? Shaving. It's actually, it feels so sharp, but it's not taking off nearly as much as I thought it would. He could cut yourself. You're very right, he could. It's just not catching. Yeah, it doesn't want to catch. Sharp knife. This is a sharp knife, dude. Why did he do badly on the arm shape? I don't know. I don't know if it was recording at that moment. You see, when you get to the bottom, it pops off. Yeah, it's, it's a... Dude. Wow. Woo! Okay. Here. This is so it doesn't hit you in the face if it flies out, okay? Three, two. Three, two. Three, two. Hell yeah! The others were clean, shattered it every single time. That's a good knife right there. I cut that. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That didn't take much. One, two. Fantastic. Yeah. A piece of me in the chin. <laughs> this whole straight area across is a quarter inch perfectly. Dude, that's the cleanest in and out we've ever had. <laughs> chewed it up pretty good. Damn. Not chewed it up, but I mean. But something. Paper. Paper. Ooh. Still cutting though. All right here by this black curtain, okay? No way it'll hit me in the chest before it hits you guys. Twice. I want to check something. I think I might have been gripping it on the lock. Gripping it here, and I might have been squeezing the lock. It might have. All right, guys, mask off. Three, two. What the? Even with it, the blade being messed yeah, up. Yeah, it's got a no give up attitude. I like it. But. You can tell, look at how brutal the tears are. Oh yeah, I saw it from it's, that. It's like dragged across. Yes. You definitely gotta keep in the Logan's what though when you miss it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Two. Whoa. Wow. All right, before we get in a knife, I gotta say, we're sorry, we kinda got some uh, extra cameos going on today. <laughs> um, <laughs> I went from pneumonia to COVID to long COVID. Who, who the hell knows? Um, so we, so I've just been sick and haven't been able to film at night. And you know, we, we're trying to make it where the next day he'll come over. We'll do a video in the morning. Just but to keep content. Part of the daytime is the kids are involved, so yeah. we just got to make do with what we can. They're not, they're not gonna let Daddy leave. They're not gonna let Coco leave. So we got him. The biggest thing to talk about right now is during that batoning test. How sure are you that your finger touched the liner lock? 80. Because you did a second batoning stick and it didn't do it. It was also a thinner batoning stick, though. It was also thinner, though. Because that, we already know every test passed with flying colors. Mm -hmm. So it comes down to that batoning. So I'm 100% sure my finger was in the groove. I'm like 80% sure that. It I, wiggled enough to make your finger push it in. Well, and I was sque I'm squeezing pretty hard because I don't want it to fly. Right. So, so 100% my finger was there. Not, not, don't know about if I hit it or not. That's that. It's the deciding factor. Like this is a stamp worthy knife. 100%. Yeah, it is a stamp for me. You think so? 100%. You would still stamp this? I. 100%. It made it through every test with flying colors. It has. That that style of grind or that grind on the knife is 
it's perfect because it's got your razor, razor edge, but it also has the beefiness to cut through like the cardboard, the poster board, you know, that kind of stuff with ease. So it's not like a razor, but it it's not too robust where it gets stuck on itself, you know? Everything about it, I pretty much love. The only thing I'm going to say, my biggest complaint, is I don't like the pocket clip. I'd have to take this off and either, like, listen, like, like catching the skin. It's got to be sanded or something's got to be put on there where it's not, and it's, it's so rough in the hand. Like, look, you can see where it, like, fat was sitting in my hand the whole time. Mm-hmm. Look, it fits right in the imprint. Yeah, it pushes in. The liner lock is strong. It gave twice. Was I squeezing? Not 100% sure. I think I was. And I don't think that that would be a reason for it to not get the stamp. We have given failed liner locks in the past stamp. Once or twice. It just had to be a... Ver- the reason, the way I'm looking at it is not just with the kids being down here. You know, normally when we sit down and I'm looking at this camera, it's at a minimum 50 minutes. Yeah. We did this entire knife and all of its testing so fast, we are currently at 38 minutes, unedited. So that is a big deal. The leather. Th- that's what Not I mean. one like, of our, however many knives we've ever touched has ever done that When we go from paper, post board, cardboard, foam board, we normally have a few seconds in between where we're getting ready. Yeah. You had them lined up and you were just, next, Next, like it was just rapid fire. It was we effortless. Did, w- even like the first time I stopped the camera, it's normally we're only a few tests in. Yeah. I stopped the camera, we finished six tests. Yeah. So that is my main thing is that the speed, the size, the unique handle, I guess what? I'm a fan of it. I actually like this iguana looking scale. And that's kind of why I got it. I mean, you drop it in the woods, probably not going to find it, but you know, I like that. But grip, grip wise, I just feel like they gave you so many ridges in so many different areas that like it this was, is not gonna slide out of your it hand. It was well thought out. It wasn't like they built the knife and then just built a handle around it. Like it seems like the whole thing was well thought out. All right, I say I say stamp even with a technical fail. Stamp, um, technical error or fail. Yeah, we okay. don't know. We can only be 80% I sure. I definitely think this for the price, the holy <laughs> shit. Is yeah. Yeah. In the post review, this is going to be going up against the mini griptilian and the, the boker. So you got to think, those two prices versus this price, this one's going to be a contender for sure. Yeah. Switching? A contender for a quarter of the price. And that's 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 what we're really gonna have to think about. Um, and this is what we've said is we're not going to just end up going high end and being stuck there. We are yes. gonna constantly be going back and forth to show you you don't need to be a four hundred dollar guy to get a banging knife. And also th- the recommendations have been. You know you guys are being filmed, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, the recommendations keep them up because we would have never looked into at, at Sativian. We would have never looked at Boker. Boker, you know, it's just, they've been getting better and better, too. I mean, for, not for nothing, but this smokes the Kershaws we were started with, you know? It's true. And it's cheaper than it's some of the Kershaws. Yeah, like, even, damn. That's... Guys, we don't want to drag it out, um, especially with our guests here, our special guests. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Hit the bell. Guys, follow us our Amazon store. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Other than that, New Age Tactical. Over and out. Say over and out. Over and out. Say it loud. Over and out. Say it with power. Over and out. Over and out. All right. I'm having a good (laughs) time. Plopping you down. Plop.